In the world of DSP, there is no doubt that selection is not the problem. There are some really nice systems out there, but for some, might just find it a little bit intimidating, if not complicated. Well, the folks at Memphis have come up with a solution that they feel and they're touting as the most simple DSP to use on the planet. Today, we've got President Nick Lamonico joining us in the studio to break it all down. This is CME Connected, presented by SiriusXM, all about Memphis audio. And it starts now. What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another CMA Connected brought to you by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. And on the menu today is, of course, our continued dialogue on DSP. So many choices on the market today. Today's feature brand has come up with a solution that they feel is absolutely one of the most simplest solutions and platforms on the market. Now, Nick, that's a pretty bold statement, but you've, ste- you've been steadfast on this message. So give us an idea of what we're going to be discussing today. Hey, Ben. Yeah, we think that the IV68 DSP is the best looking, the easiest to use, and the best value in the market. And now I just got to tell you why. And Nick, for sure, we're going to give you that opportunity. But first, a quick message from our partner, SiriusXM, reminding you dealers out there why you love it. And when we come back, let's find out why the new Memphis Viv68 DSP is what they claim to be a simple DSP solution. Hey guys, Ricky Lima here from SiriusXM. I had a chance to speak to some dealers and ask them what they love about selling SiriusXM. Here's what they had to say. Coast to coast coverage. I love SiriusXM for commercial free music. It's a great ad on sale and a profit opportunity. We love selling SiriusXM because you can listen to the same channel coast to coast. Profitability and ease of installation. It's a no brainer. We love selling SiriusXM for its ease of installation, great profitability and reliability. People love it. All right, welcome back. Let's get right into it. Now, Nick, there's a story behind when Memphis Car Audio decided to get into DSP. For many years, there was no DSP within your lineup. And then, pow, out comes this really attractive unit, apparently loaded with features, which I'm sure we're going to talk about. But give us a little bit of the background when it came to the development of this particular unit. Yeah, Ben, as you've heard from me saying on these, on these interviews a million times, we like to listen to our customer base. So when we came out with the VV68 DSP, we used a ton of feedback that we got from our customers. They needed it to be simple. They didn't need to worry about how many different other parts and pieces they needed to buy to get it to work. They just wanted to have a simple, easy to use, all-in-one solution for a great value. And it took us a little while, but I think we've delivered it and delivered it well. Well, Nick, I think a great place to start is to first discover what comes in the box. And if you could walk us through a little bit about when you say everything is in the box, let's talk about those items. Let's look at those features and dissect this inside out. Yeah, we can talk about everything that comes in the box, whether that's in the physical box or the unit itself, that box, everything you need all in one. Let's go through it as we unbox right now. So with the magic of AI, you're looking at the beautiful gift box. Oh, everything's out of the box. That was incredible. AI is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm impressed every time I see it. But as you look at the at the amazing cosmetics on the VIV 6.8 DSP, you'll notice quickly uh, that it matches the rest of our VIV amplifier lineup. So that in itself is an amazing thing coming out of the box. Um, you obviously have the, the wiring set up there for your power and your uh, high level input. You also have low level inputs, six low level inputs, and then a low level output. In addition to that, you're going to have Bluetooth streaming built in. So you use the Bluetooth to connect via the app to control the DSP, but you can also stream directly from your device to the DSP. And then we also give you a toss link input and all of those are selectable. So on the fly, you can select between high level, low level, Bluetooth, or, or optical input. Really simple but all of those are available. That all comes in the box. You don't have to worry about have, having any other pieces to get that connectivity. With the digital remote, obviously you see that it's got that, that display so you can do everything you need to on the fly. So you can change your sub-level, your main volume, you can adjust your presets. And then of course you can change your LED color right on the fly from 
inside the the uh, the car. So if this is in your truck uh, on a on an awesome install, looking cool, you can change the LEDs, and it has RGB output in the box. So you can use one of our uh, RGB amplifiers. Even you could have your whole car running off of the RGB outputs on this DSP. And then with regards to talking about what's inside the actual cases, signal summing is built in. All the time delay is built in. Everything you need for the DSP is built in. So you don't have to worry about getting an external box for the Bluetooth, like I mentioned, or signal summing or anything to get from high level into this unit. So everything you need to get from a factory head unit, an aftermarket head unit, or to just stream for your from your phone, you can do all that with the VIV68 DSP. Another great feature is we made the the name badge. We see VIV and Memphis reversible. So we have a, we always try to keep installers in mind. Um, we did make this piece really good looking, so you can you can put it out on an install. But we tried to make it as compact as possible with that reversible badge. So whether you need to tuck it away or whether you need to mount it one direction or the other, you can easily do that while still having it look great. So I'm going to be the first one to admit here, Nick, that everything you just said there checks off a lot of critical boxes. And what I mean by that is there are a lot of DSPs currently in the market that don't have some of the features that you mentioned. So let's list them off and let's talk about them. You mentioned that signal summing is included in the, as a feature. You mentioned that it has multiple different types of input options, including high level, low level, as well as optical. But one of the key ones that I thought is a really huge value add here, Nick, is the Bluetooth. See, there are a lot of units out there that do offer Bluetooth, but that's only for programming purposes. This one, double purposes as not only programming, but also as a source input. So I wanted to comment on that as a great value add and also the flexibility that this would have in various scenarios. Yeah, with the Bluetooth streaming option built in and with the other options, there's a, there's a ton of different ways that you can do this. Even looking at it from a show vehicle standpoint where you have a, a custom a custom install set up and you want to give someone else the ability to quickly demo something or jump into it. Or if you have it set up in a car with multiple inputs where you want to use the factory head unit and then you want to potentially just stream from your phone and go directly in. We've even seen uh, usage in a big rig truck where you have the sleeper cab in the back and the system up front while you're driving and the same DSP uses the head unit for, uh, for input when you're driving the truck and then uses the toss link for a TV in the back when you're you know, parked and, and on your leisure time sleeping and watching TV. So tons of options with that input, especially being selectable on the fly, whether it be high level, low level toss link, and then of course the Bluetooth. So as we continue to uncover all these hidden features within this Memphis Audio DSP, we come to the point where we're talking about the user experience. And of course, by that, I mean interface options reached out to Ellis Mathis, who's their sales of, uh, director of sales, rather, at, at Memphis. So Ellis, from what I understand, this is not a one-trick pony. There's different ways to interface with this DSP unit. That's correct. We have two different interface options for this DSP. Uh, first off, we do have an app-based interface, which will work for your traditional initial tuning with a phone or the tablet. But it also allows for a nice use user interface and feel for guys who are more comfortable with a phone or tablet application. Um, it's going to give you 95% of the controls and function of the PC-based app. On the PC app, everything's all on one screen, nice and easy up front. Uh, every feature is adjustable, selectable, inputs, outputs, and everything in between. As you can see here, we have the PC-based app. Everything is available on screen. We have your input section, high level, low level, Bluetooth, and the optical inputs. We have your mixer section. With this, you can select for each channel of input and output. You can dedicate which inputs you want to affect for which output channels. You can adjust the volumes and levels for each individual input and output. We have a crossover section over here to the left, which is going to be for each of the eight channels. You can select your crossover type, your frequencies, and your octaves. Below that, we get down into the time alignment section. You can adjust time, time alignment using milliseconds, centimeters, or inches. Main volume just to the left of that. All the way across the bottom, we have channels one through eight. For each channel, you can adjust the level. You can adjust the phase. You can mute individual channels. And it also shows your time alignment delay across the bottom. Moving up, we have the EQ section. You can adjust your frequency, the Q, and the amount of increase or decrease you want per channel. 
across the top, you can see the full spectrum of all 31 bands provided for each, uh, each channel of output. If you want to make a very simple adjustment to get things started, like so, say you're going to adjust your tweeter frequencies, you can grab the frequency of choice. You can move that up or down as you would like. You can drag the cue to adjust, make a nice smooth curve. Very quick adjustments across a, a wide array of equalization bands. Just very simple to use. Well, Ellis, the first thing I'm going to say is this is a real simple setup because it seems that everything basically is on the same page, which compared to a couple other platforms out there where you do have sub menus and other windows, definitely keeps things um, in order and easy to navigate. Now, what is the feedback you've had from dealers that have been playing with your software, installing this unit, and what, what do they have to say? We've had great feedback on this unit so far. Uh, the, the integration interface has, has been great, nice, easy to use. Uh, the app base for the phone and tablet has been great for some of the newer guys. Uh, they, they like how easy it is to use. It feels like using any other app on the phone. And when you go to the, the PC app, like, like you stated, it's all on one screen. It's all in one place. You can see everything you're doing. So the, the feedback from the guys in the field has been great. They do like it. Um, it. It allows them to get the results they're trying to out of the system without an overwhelming amount of input required. So Ellis, on that note, you've had great feedback from, from installers. I mean, I don't know if it can get any simpler with what you've showed us today, or can it? One other feature we added to this DSP allows for a uh, basic setup for new DSP users. It comes in a normal setup mode for traditional use, the way guys are used to using the DSP, but there is a one-click option to take you into a simple crossover mode, which is going to have channels one and two basically preset for fronts, channels three and four set for your rear speakers, and channel five and six for subs. This is going to be basic crossover points, basic tuning to allow you to turn that system on for the first time, play it for a low volume, make sure everything's working correctly before you really dig in for setting up your final tune. All right, guys. So now we talked about what comes in the box. We had Ellis show us the interface as well as the interface options you have between the, uh, the phone app as well as the PC-based. So bring it home for us, Nick. I mean, this is obviously a product that you your team has put a lot of time and resources into developing, making sure that that message of simplicity uh, stays consistent. But what about the value? Yeah, Ben, uh, I, I wanted to get everything we possibly could in the box to make it easy to use, like I said before, whether it's your first DSP system or you're a seasoned DSP pro. I mean, I'm able to set this thing up in 15 minutes without instructions, which is crazy because, you know, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, but for the price we have this unit at as well, it, it's an incredible value with everything we've shown, the easy interface, the, the iOS and Android apps that are designed specifically for your phone. It's not just the PC version to turn sideways on your phone. It's got the Bluetooth streaming built in. That's in the box. The digital remote in the box. Everything you need to do, high level, low level, or toss link inputs in the box, signal summing in the box, everything you need. And I mean, I really would challenge anyone out there to find a more full featured DSP with everything in the box that's a better value, especially because you know we have those LEDs built in, that, that RGB output built in, which nobody else has. So definitely, definitely a great value. You got to check it out. All right. So that was Memphis President Nick LaMonaco, along with their sales director, Ellis Mathis, giving us the rundown on the Memphis Audio DSP unit. So if you want more information and get all the specs and details, I do encourage you to head over to the website shown right here at memphiscaraudio.com. If you happen to be a dealer in Canada, then make sure you want to connect with the team at Automobility. They are the exclusive Canadian distributor for all things Memphis. And on that note, I had to reach out to my man, Phil Cameron, to get his feedback. Now, Phil, I know you. You've been in the lab. You've had your chance to play with this unit. Do you feel that Memphis has delivered on the promise for a simple DSP? Great question, Ben. Uh, I do agree that they came out with something very simple to use. The GUI is very intuitive. You won't spend hours looking for stuff that you're trying to do. It's right there in your face. The fact that you can use your smartphone or tablet application at the same time is an added bonus. And tons of uh, installer feature that was thrown into this box is, is incredible point out a couple of details here. We mentioned about the RGB controller. You have connectors right here. So you have your wiring to connect the RGB lighting. So everything will match. Everything will be controlled by the DRC. Second thing here, DRC in the box, correct? 
tiny, tiny details. You can't really see here, but this is the plug that will connect the DRC to the extending cable. So if you're gonna install this in your dash, this is super small, makes it easy for you to route through the hole and plug into the extension cable and job is done. So they did spend an enormous amount of time planning this to make it easier for the installers, both on the tuning side and also on the installation side. I really like this, these. Now you see, Phil, this is why I count on you to find those little hidden gems within each product that we talk about here on CMA. But the question is for Canadian dealers, let's uh, admit something that we may not want to admit. And that is there are still a lot of dealers out there that are either intimidated or haven't yet committed to offering DSP or installing DSP in their shops. What message do you have for them now that a solution such as the Memphis unit is now here? You are 100% right. Uh, the average installer may be a little bit scared about using DSP, but please, no more. If you haven't tried your luck with DSP, it is simpler than you may think. You just have to get started. And the Memphis solution that we talked today is a great option. It's not intimidating as everything that you need built into it. And if you require some assistance, please reach out to your automobility rep. He can put you in contact with me, or we do have another expert in house called Justin Bond. That can help you as well if you need some more help doing tuning or DSP on how to set it up. We got you. No question is dumb. Feel free to reach out. We'll take our time to answer everything that you may ask us. All right. That's a wrap on this Memphis DSP session here on CMA Networks. Now, I want to take this opportunity, obviously, to thank all my guests today. We had Nicola Monaco as well as Ellis Mathis who came in. And of course, you just heard from Automobility's Phil Cameron. In my closing comments, I am pretty impressed with this unit. You know, Memphis took their time before entering into the DSP market. They knew they had to come in with an angle that would definitely answer the needs to their customers. You've heard President Nick mention on many times how he does this, takes the feedback from their customers and applies it to new product development. And what a product it is, because when they say it's all in the box, man, literally every feature that I can think of at this present time is in this box. If you need single summing, signal summing, it's included. Bluetooth, not only for programming, but also as another source, also included. For you audiophiles out there, they've got you with the Toslink input. Not only that, high level in, eight channels of processing power, small compact, and on top of that, legendary Memphis LED technology with a controller. Yeah, it's going to be hard to beat, especially at the price point that they're asking for. That's it for this CMA Connected, brought to you by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. There's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with over 150 channels in your vehicle. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM video on demand. What you love is on now.